Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Polar Animals Life at the Poles. The polar regions of our planet are cold, vast, and beautiful. The average winter temperatures in the North Pole is negative 40 degrees Celsius or negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, while at the South Pole, the average winter temperature is negative 60 degrees Celsius or negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit. While these might seem like very harsh conditions to live in, many species of animals call these regions home. Come along on this journey as we travel to the poles and learn about some of the animals living in these extreme environments. The northern polar region of the Earth is called the Arctic. It includes the North Pole and spans across North America, Europe and Asia. It is an ocean surrounded by land. The southern polar region is called Antarctica. It includes the South Pole. It differs from the Arctic as it is a land mass surrounded by the Southern Ocean. Let's see what kinds of animals live and thrive in the Arctic. Arctic Fox. Arctic foxes have adapted to living in this harsh environment. They are about as big as a house cat. Their tails act like a blanket to keep them warm while they sleep. They are mammals with lots of fur, and they are omnivorous, eating both plants and animals. Arctic Wolf Arctic wolves, a close relative to the Arctic foxes, hunt in packs. They too are mammals, and their fur keeps them warm. However, they also take shelter in caves or outcrops since it is hard to dig a den in the frozen or snowy ground. Arctic Hare The Arctic Hare lives in the Arctic tundra where there are not a lot of trees. They dig holes in the ground or snow to shelter and sleep. Their fur keeps them warm and the white color helps them stay camouflaged. They are hunted by many other animals. Snowshoe Hare the snowshoe hare, a close relative to the arctic hare, is another creature well adapted to the harsh terrain of the tundra. They do not hibernate and fascinatingly enough, change the color of their fur with the changing seasons. The color change helps with camouflaging from predators. Snowy Owl Snowy owls have a specialized beak that aids in gripping prey. They survive the harsh temperatures because they have a lot of feathers. They have so much feathers, they are listed as the heaviest bird in North America. They even have soft feathers on their feet that mimics soft, fuzzy slippers. Arctic Tern The Arctic Tern is another notable creature that calls the Arctic home. Terns make the longest migration of any other bird. They spend time between the Arctic and Antarctica. They are known to hover over water before plunging down to catch fish. Arctic Skew The Arctic Skew spends time in the Arctic but is not there year-round. They eat fish, small mammals, insects, and even other birds. They escape the harsh Arctic winters by migrating to tropical and southern oceans. They are known for stealing food from other animals. Bald Eagle Another amazing bird that has adapted to life in the Arctic is the bald eagle. Eagles are high flyers and their phenomenal eyesight allows them to see prey from very far away. They mostly eat fish but will also eat small mammals and birds. Canada Goose Canada geese are migratory birds and they can be found in the Arctic tundra. They eat aquatic plants and animals as well as grass and grains. They are well known for flying in a V formation and for their loud honk. Ptarmigan Look at these beauties. Ptarmigans are known as snow chickens, probably because they are ground feeders like chickens. 
In the summer, their feathers are usually brown with dark stripes. In the winter, their feathers are white. This is one way they protect themselves from predators. They eat berries, leaves, buds, seeds, flowers, and insects. Puffin. This inquisitive bird is a puffin. They are usually found around sea cliffs and coastlines near the Arctic tundra during the summer. In winter, they migrate to warmer locations. Their beaks are usually a gray color. However, throughout the year, it changes to a bright orange color. Beluga whale. Most recognizable by their white coloring and bulbous head, belugas swim in the waters of the Arctic. They are social creatures and live, hunt, and travel in pods. Like all whales, they have a blue hole on the top of their heads through which they breathe. Baleen whales have no teeth and two blowholes, while toothed whales only have one blowhole. Greenland Shark Greenland sharks continue to mystify scientists because it is very difficult to spot them in the wild. They can be found in the Arctic region. They will eat just about anything and are some of the largest and oldest living creatures on the planet. Narwhal. Nicknamed the unicorn of the sea, narwhals are a true delight of the Arctic. Their tusks are actually an enlarged tooth that increases their awareness of their environment. Narwhals are part of the whale family and they eat a variety of fish, squid, and shrimp. Orca. Orcas, often called killer whales, can be found in all the oceans across the globe. They are incredibly intelligent and are quite social. They work in groups to catch prey. Known for their distinctive black and white coloring, they are the largest members of the dolphin family. Caribou Caribou, also called reindeer, spend their summers in the Arctic tundra. They travel south in the winter where there is more access to food. They are herbivores and will feed on grasses, mushrooms, and other vegetation in the region. Moose Another large animal that thrives in the Arctic is moose. Moose are herbivores and feed on a variety of grasses and shrubs in the summer, while in the winter they eat woody shrubs and pine cones. They love to swim, so spend a lot of time in water, usually feeding on vegetation. They are fast runners, so never try to outrun a moose. Musk Ox Musk oxen are a hardy group of animals well suited for the harsh conditions of the Arctic. They have very thick fur that grows to about two feet long and almost touches the ground. The hair keeps them warm. They are herbivores and will eat moss, roots, grass, and flowers when available in their habitat. Doll Sheep Doll sheep are the northernmost wild sheep in the world. They have distinctive horns that can take up to eight years to grow that are made from keratin, the same materials found in fingernails. They are herbivores and eat a variety of plants they stay warm thanks to their fur. Polar bear. Polar bears are synonymous with the Arctic. They are one of the animals most people think of when thinking about this region. They are mighty swimmers and will regularly swim 30 miles at a time. Interestingly enough, a polar bear's skin is black and its fur is colorless. This unique feature allows them to blend in with their environment very well. Bearded Seal A variety of seals can be found in the Arctic. When thinking about seals, it is important to know that there are some which are earless and others with visible ears on the sides of their heads. One earless species found in the Arctic is the bearded seal. They survive in this environment by feeding on prey found along the ocean floor, such as clams, squid, and fish. Harp seal. Harp seals can also be found in the Arctic. They are very good swimmers and can stay underwater for up to 15 minutes. 
They, like most of the aquatic creatures in this region, stay warm because of a layer of blubber under their skin. Hooded Seal The hooded seal gets its name because of a padding along its nasal cavity. They tend to live alone and will get aggressive when other seals enter their territory. Males will use their hooded noses underwater to make noises, warning other seals to stay away. Ribbon Seal It is easy to see why this species of seal is called the ribbon seal. Adults have a distinctive set of stripes across their bodies. They are true ice seals and spend most of their lives at sea in deep, cold water or on clean, thick, stable ice flows. They eat a lot of fish and shrimp. Ringed Seal Ringed seals are also named for their unique coloration of spots and rings on their fur. They are the most abundant seal species in the Northern Hemisphere. They feed on a variety of fish and invertebrates, which are animals without backbones. They are hunted by polar bears and people native to the region. Spotted Seal Spotted seals spend most of their time on ice flows. They are named for the spots on their bodies. Compared to other seals, they are relatively small and are described as shy creatures. Walruses Walruses, another majestic group of Arctic animals, are excellent swimmers and hunters. They spend most of their lives in water. They do go on land or ice flows to rest. Both males and females have tusks, which are large teeth. They use their tusks to pull their large bodies out of water and to hunt. Wolverine Wolverines are large mammals that look like bears. However, they are in the weasel family. They are solitary creatures, which means they like living alone and will travel long distances for food. They are omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animals. Claws on their front feet help them climb trees. Ermine Ermines are small mammals also in the weasel family. They benefit humans by feeding on animals humans consider pests. They are hunted for their fur, but despite this practice, they are still thriving. Like many other Arctic creatures, their fur color changes with the season, camouflaging them from predators. They are nocturnal, which means they are most active at night. Sea Otter Did you know that sea otters are also part of the weasel family? They have webbed feet, which makes them excellent swimmers. Their water-repellent fur keep them dry and warm. They are also carnivores and feed on sea urchins, crabs, squid, among other animals. They are highly intelligent and use tools. They have been observed putting rocks on their chests and smashing seashell against the rock. Pretty clever. Lemming. As you can see, creatures great and small thrive in the Arctic. Lemmings are no exception. Lemmings are small rodents that look like mice. They migrate in huge groups as the seasons change and their fur color changes too. They live in holes in the ground and eat mosses, roots, and grasses. Now let's see what kinds of animals live and thrive in the Antarctic region. Adelaide Penguin Like the Arctic, Antarctica has a wide variety of creatures living there. The most recognizable are penguins. Eight species of penguins live in this region. Adelaide penguins are carnivorous birds that eat krill, fish, and squid. They have distinctive black and white feathers on their bodies and an orange bill. Emperor penguins can also be found in this region. They too are carnivores and both parents take care of their young much like other species of penguins. Emperor penguins have black feathers on their heads and backs, white feathers on their bellies, and a yellow trim around their necks. They are the tallest and heaviest species of penguins alive today. King penguin 
The second largest of the penguin species are king penguins. They are similar in appearance to the emperor penguins, however, the cheek patch on the king penguin is a solid orange color and they have more orange feathers on their bodies. Emperor penguins have more of a yellowish coloration. One can also distinguish the two species as they rarely inhabit the same regions of Antarctica. They eat a variety of sea creatures. Chinstrap penguin. Chinstraps, as you can imagine, get their name from the narrow black band of feathers around their heads that make it look like they're wearing helmets. They are one of the most abundant penguin species and their diet is similar to other penguins living in the region. They are small birds when compared to other penguin species. They can be about 28 inches tall and weigh about 10 pounds. Gentoo penguins. Gentoo penguins are recognizable by a white band of feathers that runs across their heads. They are the largest penguins in the stiff-tailed family. Like other penguin species, parents must first hunt for food and will partially digest it before returning to the baby, also called a chick. The parent will then regurgitate the mixture and the chick will eat directly from the parent's bill. The mixture is sometimes called crop milk. Macaroni penguin. Another large penguin species found in Antarctica is the macaroni penguin. They are identified by orange plume feathers on their heads. They are the largest of the crested penguins. Like other penguins, they swallow stones which aids in digestion as the stones grind up the food in their stomachs. They spend a lot of time at sea, but like other penguins, will form large foraging colonies on the shore. Southern Rockhopper Penguin Rockhopper penguins are distributed in a variety of places in the southern hemisphere. Like other species, they eat different types of fish, krill, and shellfish. They are distinguishable by a crest of feathers on their heads. They are called rockhoppers because they hop on rocks as they move around their breeding grounds. Magellanic Penguin Magellanic penguins, like other penguins, take in a lot of seawater which their bodies cannot absorb. So, they excrete the extra salt through a special gland located near their eyes. They breathe on the shores of warm beaches, but do spend time at sea in sub-Antarctic zones. Albatross Albatross are true seabirds. They can go for up to a year without touching land. They have the largest wingspan of any other bird today and will often glide above the ocean on the breezes. Unlike most creatures, they can drink seawater. They form colonies on land during the breathing season and both parents care for the young. Snow Petrel Known as one of only three species of birds that breed exclusively in Antarctica, snow petrels are a beauty. They have white feathers, black eyes and beaks, and blue-gray feet. They eat fish, krill, and other sea creatures. Snow petrels have a special oil in their stomachs that they use to feed themselves on long trips. They also use it to feed their young, and they use it to spray on predators trying to eat them. Cape Petrel A close relative to snow petrel are cape petrels. They have a black head, a black beak, and white patches on their wings. They eat crustaceans, squid, and fish. Antarctic Skua Found throughout the coastal regions of Antarctica and in several areas in the Southern Hemisphere, the Antarctic Skua are excellent flyers. They look a lot like seagulls with a barreled chest, blue hooked bill, and broad, round wings. They eat fish, krill, eggs of other birds, crustaceans, and carrion, which is decaying flesh from other animals. Snowy Sheathbill Referenced as nervous and skittish, the snowy sheathbill survives in this region by scavenging on whatever they can find to eat. They have a unique way of staying warm. They will often hop on one leg to warm up. 
They also fluff out their feathers to trap and keep warm air around their bodies. Arctic Tern The Arctic Tern, as mentioned before, spends time in both the Arctic region and the Antarctic region. They make one of the longest migrations on Earth. Blue Whale Many species of baleen whales can be found in the Antarctic region of the world. An example of such a whale is a blue whale. Blue whales are mammals that can be found in most of the world's oceans. They are carnivores and feed on shrimp-like creatures called krill. Blue whales are massive and are the largest animals to ever live on Earth. The tongue of a blue whale weighs as much as an elephant, while the heart is as big as a car. Fin Whale Baleen whales all feed the same. They eat small prey by straining the seawater and capturing plankton with plates in their mouths called baleen. They do not have teeth and therefore eat smaller prey. Another such majestic creature in the baleen family is the fin whale. They are the second largest animals on Earth and they too can be found in the Antarctic region. They are fast swimmers and have a long, slender body. Southern Right Whale Like the whales mentioned before, southern right whales are mammals and they all come to the surface to breathe water. This is another species of baleen whale that feeds on krill, the tiny shrimp-like creatures. Southern right whales are mostly dark gray or black. They often have colonies of parasites living on their heads. They too, like the other whales, have a layer of oily blubber under their skin which protects them from the extremely cold waters in this region of the world. Sea Sea whales are also in the baleen family and have a dark gray and slender body. They are fast swimmers and swim with their mouths open so they can trap tiny particles of food. They, like most whales, were hunted for their oil and meat. They are thankfully now protected and their population is recovering. Antarctic Minke Minke whales are considered small in comparison to other whales. They are either black or dark gray with a white underside they also have white bands on their flippers. They are very fast swimmers. The minke whales found in the Antarctic region are diurnal feeders, which means they feed during the daytime, and they feed mostly on krill. Humpback Whale Humpback whales are powerful swimmers and are known for their enchantingly loud and beautiful songs. They can sing anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes and their music can be heard for great distances in the ocean. They make some of the most varied sounds in the animal kingdom. They, like the other whales mentioned before, are in the baleen family and are one of the more abundant species of whales found in the Antarctic region. Weddell Seals Seals are another group of animals thriving in the frigid regions of the Antarctic. The Weddell seal, like the other animals mentioned previously, is highly adapted for this region. They stay warm thanks to their blubber and swim around under the Antarctic ice. They are mammals so they must come up for air through holes and cracks in the ice. They feed mostly on fish and squid. Fur seal an interesting fact about seals, once again, is that some are earless while others have visible ears on the sides of their heads. Fur seals are a species of eared seals. They use their front flippers to sit up straight, walk, and run. Their thick fur and blubber under their skin keep them warm and dry. They feed on krill, fish, and squid. Elephant Seal Elephant seals are very big and get their name from the large proboscis or trunk-like snout seen on the adult males. The adult males use their proboscis to make loud roaring sounds. 
elephant seals are earless and the ones in this region are blue-gray in color. They eat a lot of fish and squid. Crab Eater Seal The crab eater seals are by far the most abundant seal species in the world. They are earless seals found along the Antarctic coasts. They can be seen on pack ice resting or socializing in groups. Though their name suggests otherwise, they do not eat crabs. They instead eat krill, the shrimp-like creature abundant in this region. Leopard Seal The second largest seals found in this region is the leopard seal. They are known for eating the young of crab-eater seals. They get their name from the patterns found on their fur. They are large, very strong, and are dark gray in color. Leopard seals are very vocal underwater, and the males can produce extremely loud calls. Krill One of the key species in the Antarctic ecosystem is krill. As mentioned before, most, if not all, the animals in this region depend on krill as a source of food. Krill belong to the invertebrate group and are some of the most successful organisms on the planet. They feed on phytoplankton, which is a microscopic algae found in the sunlit region of most oceans. Krill can grow to about 2.5 inches and sheds the exoskeleton that covers its body many times as it grows. They swim in large groups called swarms. Without krill, many of the animals previously mentioned would not survive in this region. Next time you think about the polar regions, remember they are more than vastly cold and harsh environments. The polar regions provide a home for an amazingly varied group of animals. Here, these uniquely beautiful creatures are able to thrive and survive in one of the most amazing ecosystems in the world. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email EZA Homeschool Academy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.